Hello there, Nerdvengers. On my way to the tower, I saw a lot of chatter in the chat chat all about this here eagle song. I figured why not? Let's light it up. Let's get to the tower and let's jam this mother flipping <coughs> fli flipping <coughs> uh, eagle song. So let's go. Let's get ready. It's going to be a good stream. We're going to be talking all about Star Wars reports. What if non-canon stuff? I know what you're thinking. How is your microphone floating? Don't worry about it. Look, there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on here. Near Nerdvengers Tower. Okay. Don't think about it too hard. Shut your mouth. And let's talk all about Star Wars. Ralph McQuarrie, aesthetic. Do we want to see it as a whole retelling of the original trilogy? I don't know. I, I, honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about it. You, you might think, oh, he probably constructed his thoughts. He has all these well-developed arguments. We're gonna we're gonna get a really well thought out, you know, nice piece of content. Nope. Yo, turn this up. I'll see you guys in the tower. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to be a good stream. Woo! Shout out to Lord Vito for that one. That was nice. That was a nice jam. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the stream coming at you from Nerd Avengers Tower as per huge. Look, this story came out yesterday. It's very fun. We don't know for sure that it's out there. Uh, I like the hashtag show. I think Nick does a good job over there and he has good sources, but we'll have to treat it as rumor for now. <clears throat> By the way, total side note, ADD moment. If y'all, I'm going to blame you guys. If, if I miss... The uh, VV comic book drop today. Oh, man, I'm going to be upset and I'm going to blame you guys. So please just remind me, remind me uh, in chat. And while we're on that topic, before I forget, Red7, welcome to the Nerd Vengers. You are a Nerd Venger now. Welcome. Make yourself comfortable. Make yourself around the tower. I'm sure some people can help you out uh, when you go up into the Nerd Venger only sections of the tower. Okay, so thank you. Welcome, welcome. Guys, it's also Venom Day. I'm going to see Venom pretty early, actually, at 4 p.m. I'm excited to check that out. I'll be doing a reaction video about that, and then we'll stream all about Venom tomorrow. Spoilers, multiversal implications, etc., etc. It should be really, really fun. I'm excited for that. Tomorrow's going to be a wild stream. We're doing Venom spoilers. We're doing gambling on. We're, we're doing call-ins at the end of the stream. And we're giving away a $200 GameStop gift card to one of the Nerd Vengers. We're randomly going to draw for one of the Nerd Vengers, and they are going to receive that gift card. So tomorrow's going to be a very fun, packed day. Also, if you are a Nerd Venger member, and, and don't worry, we're about to get. Don't click off the video with your friggin' goldfish level of attention. Sh shut your mouth. Sit on your hands. Then take them out and slap yourself in the face a couple of times and shut up. I'm almost done. <clears throat> so, um. Today, we're doing another stream where we're going to read comic books together. I love doing that with the members. We've been doing this every week. It seems to sort of be a Thursday thing where we start to uh, read comic books together. So if you're an Adventure member, come on back for that. We're going to do that at 1 p.m. tomorrow or today. Awesome. We're on top of it. Today at 1 p.m. We're, we're pushing back the members streams to 1 p.m. Just to give us a little bit more time, maybe in these streams in the morning. Um, give me a little bit more time if I have to get out of here and then handle something like another video before we go into that stream. Today's stream will probably be a little lengthier. I would love to try. and I, I don't think we're going to be able to do this, but I'd love to try to be able to get through all of uh, Age of Ultron, the original Age of Ultron uh, comic book run. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, maybe we'll have to do it in two parts, but I would like to do that today, so come on by for that later. Okay. Enough of all the hooping and lobbing. And I definitely want to know what y'all think, because this is pretty wild. You know, I talked about this with Theory on Monday. 
for the Nerd Theory Podcast. We were talking about the non-canon stuff that Disney seems to want to do with Star Wars. This is, of course, beyond what they've already done with Star Wars Visions. We went over an interesting quote uh, on Monday that sort of showcased Disney's feelings and desires to have more of that kind of content made. Now, at the time, I sort of teased out to some of you guys that there was a report I heard about, uh, and we'll pull this up on the research screen here. Um, there was a report that I was not able to fully talk about at the time, but it was one that tied in to the discussion we had on Monday about um, non-canon stuff coming. Okay, so here it is. This is coming from the Hashtag Show. Nick Santos says, Star Wars animated films based on uh, TOS concept art, the original trilogy and uh, concept art coming to Disney+. Plus." Uh, hello, everyone. Your friendly neighborhood professor, Hulk, here. I'm about to drop some knowledge on some exciting stuff going on in the film and TV world. Last week, we shared with you details on Supergirl. This week, we're talking Star Wars. After the success of Star Wars Visions and Marvel's What If, Disney is looking to expand its animated offerings. One idea that I've heard from multiple inside sources is that Disney has planned or has had an idea for the past couple of years of taking Ralph McQuarrie's original art style for the Star Wars trilogy and reimagining it with that aesthetic, meaning reimagining the original trilogy. Keeping some changes to characters in as a way to show an alternate take on Star Wars and to pay homage to McQuarrie, whose art style helped define the visuals of a galaxy far, far away. Here's some details of the project. Currently, writers are writing outlines for all three films. <laughs> wow. Can we just stop for a second? Can we just stop for one second? I don't want to be that guy. And look, we're having an, a, a great day here. The, the, the energy's good. The vibe is good. So here. <laughs> I'm going to fart in the room real quick. Give me a second. <sighs> Every time I see one of these reports about how they're like planning everything out, doing outlines of the whole thing, like think about this. They might be make, taking more care to have a cohesive story for animated what if movies that are going to be sequenced in a trilogy than they did for the sequel trilogy. Okay, moving right along. Here it says that they're writing outlines for the three films that will be familiar to longtime fans, but will see deviations to the story as the basis of these three films is the original second draft of what eventually became Star Wars A New Hope. Originally titled Adventures of Star Killer, Episode 1 The Star Wars. The draft was starting to take shape, but some elements of the original trilogy were wildly different. One of the biggest changes sees Luke Skywalker, now a character called Deke Starkiller, who instead of a young man seeking an adventure, is an already established Jedi and captain of the Rebel Starfighter attacked uh, during the opening scenes of A New Hope. While the first film is, in a way, already written as it's based off of drafts of A New Hope, it's said that the other two films will blend elements of the second draft while also keeping things familiar with regards to what happens in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. The writers are currently working on scripts that blend these elements together in a way that's going to be familiar and yet fresh for longtime fans. Uh, don't expect any of the cast to come back yada 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 still in early development uh likely not coming out before 2023 okay so base level what are we talking about base level what's going on well you know ralph mccory obviously and i want to pull up we're going to pull up a lot of his art right just because i think it's fan freaking fantastic so the idea is that just like with star wars visions they want to do something that's non-canon, that is, you know, has its own sort of style and aesthetic. I was sort of uh, beating around the bush when talking uh, to Theory about this on Monday, because to me, like, if you look at the quote uh, of the report that we went over there, they were talking about how with anime specifically, the lensing was at the same time uh, so unique that it sort of, uh, but also uh, 
very parallel to Star Wars. Like it had these two qualities of like number one being really close to Star Wars just in general with a lot of themes and stylistic choices, but also being very distinct. There was like a real aesthetic draw to doing that kind of content, right? The anime factor in these different anime studios with their directors, writers, and their art teams that were really able, sort of as those studios, to bring their own vibes and look and feel to Star Wars, there was something there, right? I don't think they're just going to pop off and do a bunch of legend stuff. You know what I mean? That's not what I think they're going to do. But with this and doing Ralph McQuarrie stuff, man, I think this could be really, really cool. So I certainly want to know what all of you guys think about it. But let me just kind of kind of take you through some of my thoughts. So even some of the stuff we're we're looking at right here and now on the screen, and I'll 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 zoom in a little bit more so y'all can see some of this too. Even this stuff, it's like this some of this stuff still is like changes after George like looks at it and he's like, Can make it a little more like this, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But of course, like let me see. Let me see. I can find it. You know what I mean? Like this stuff. This is very close to the actual uh, scene in Star Wars. It still has his aesthetic and his style. But some of the more early stuff, man. Like this is one of the first ones, I think, right? This is one of the first shots of the Twin Suns. And you'll notice it has more of like a Buck Rogers or like Jetsons kind of a vibe to it. A little bit more of the traditional uh, science fiction, especially of the time. And it's just, it's a lot more clean. You know what I mean? Like George kind of brought in this lived in more grungy, hard edged feel to his science fiction, which became, you know, obviously his aesthetic and it's really awesome and fun. But with Ralph, it's like more like old seventies and eighties sci-fi pre-Star Wars, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of the vibe and the feeling that you get. You've got the these uh, lightsabers being way more like swords, you know what I mean? Which Rebels sort of plays off to in, in its aesthetic. Uh, you've got these shields for these troopers here, right? And Luke Skywalker was already this established hero, which is really, really interesting. This is the original sort of versions of the characters that we would spend a lot of time with in the OT, right? So you've got your Y wings here. Look at how different this Death Star kind of thing looks here, right? Very, very different. Here, I'm going to pull this music back just a little bit because it's going crazy on me. What the heck? Come on, man. Chet! Chet, what are you doing? Yeah, pull it back. Because it's, it's, the beat's going to drop and Vito's going to start doing a rave and everybody's going to get distracted. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, this is the, the original version of all this, right? So, a lot of this is based off of the film. Ah, oh man, I'm blanking on the film. What was the movie that it was all, uh, a lot of this stuff was based on? Because he had, he had a lot of, uh, let's see here. He had a lot of people that inspired him as well man there's one dude in specific that, that i'm thinking of and i can't remember but he did a R metropolis movie i think uh anyway so you've got this look right here this is what we think they might do with the characters here a very blocky more you know technical version of r2 uh c3po interestingly looks more i don't know like less clanky almost right like kind of more advanced this is kind of what turned into chewbacca and this is the LaSalle race, which they, again, because Rebels took a lot of inspiration from Ralph McQuarrie's stuff, right, with its sabers and stuff. But this is Zeb. So this is why you get Zeb uh, in Star Wars Rebels. Super fun stuff, man. You know what I mean? Like, just doing all this sort of stuff here. This is Leia looking way, way different. Um, and so I think this could be a really, really fun thing for Star Wars to do, uh, and another just kind of interesting piece of new content that uh, I think we would approach with a lot of intrigue uh, and wonder, you know what I mean? Now, I would say that, of course, it being non-canon is essential. You don't want to retcon or do anything like that, 
Um, and I, th- I thought it was kind of funny because there's all those people that are like, retcon the sequels. And like in some ways, they're just going to retcon the OT instead, uh, which is funny. But uh, I do want to know what you guys think of that. You know what I mean? Like, what do you make of this? You know, let's let's see what y'all got to say for a second here. And then I want to talk about some Venom stuff, too, and get hyped up about that because uh, it's Venom Day, baby. And I'm pretty freaking excited. So uh, what's up? What do you guys think? Should they do it? Yes or no? I'll put a poll up. I'll put a poll up. Let's put a poll up. Should they? Trev says, a uh, terrible idea. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm echoey? Oh, wow. Is it? How bad is the echo? My bad. You know what? I think I know what it is. That's probably better, huh? Is that better? Josh Tron? <sighs> How bad was it? Did we ruin the beginning of the stream? We just had so much fun. We just had so much fun for for like 15 minutes. And now it's all and now it's all ruined by the microphone chat. Do me a favor. Stand up, my friend. Stand up. Punch yourself in the face and then get the fuck out of here. That's your only job. And here's your quarter. Here's your quarter for the day. Yeah, pick it up. Get get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. This fucking guy. This fucking guy ruined the whole stream. <clears throat> anyway. Um, so, yeah. Let me put this poll up. Let me put this poll up. Okay. Oh, and see? We got 12 minutes for that VV drop. You guys were just going to let me fucking do it. Uh, should they? This is toxic, Josh. I'm triggered. My bad. Uh, my bad. Theory, theory theory will be providing cuddles. Uh he's coming into Nerd Venture Tower today. He, he's he's setting up his sofa and he's going to give snuggles to everybody that that is triggered by me. So there you go, Moss Moss. Uh let's see here. Should they make this Ralph me query trilogy of films. Bam bam. Boom! I wanna know. I wanna know. Should they make this shit or not? That's a million dollar song right there. Just so you guys know. I'd love to know what you think. Put it into the chat. Put it into the chat. Looks like early early voting says yes. More Star Wars anything, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's they? Uh, Lucasfilm? Disney but it is sort of interesting like what animated studio because you got this aesthetic right the aesthetic is established it's kind of fun Scott F says no Desi says nah well here's my question I think some of this would depend on what animated studio they went ahead and did this with but the idea of doing first of all there's a lot I love about this right so I love the idea. Oh, yeah, you got upset when you saw my tweet. They should hire a Japanese studio to do it. Maybe. Maybe. I actually don't know about that. I thought about that, Ross. I was like, okay, that could be really fun. Do a Japanese studio. But I almost feel like you want the aesthetic of um, like a blockier, more uh, like Western American style. Like I, I almost feel like you want a studio like that uh, to do it. You know what I mean? To, to bring that aesthetic real. I tell you what I don't want them to do is take it in a direction of being really, really cartoony, though. Like, I'd like it to still keep that sort of, like, edge. You know what I mean? Now, the palette and the desaturation and sort of, like, those kind of things, like, I'm totally cool with. Yeah, like, heavy metal. But heavy, even, like, a, a better version of uh that. Yo, by the way, a couple of things here, just because it's on my brain. Carl... You got to hit me or Ryan up on the Discord so that he can send you your the VV uh, NFT that you got yesterday. So check that out, Carl. Hit me up on Discord or hit Ryan up on Discord. And then second thing, I saw Trev say nobody eats 
uh, Hawaiian pizza. Dude, Elisa and I had a pizza yesterday. It was bacon, pepperoni, and pineapple. And man. Whew. It's a good. It's a good combo. That is a good combo. That's a nice. That's a nice little combo there. Okay, we got nine minutes until this drop. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's kind of what I think. You know, even an anime, like, I would say even if it, <laughs> gross? Dude, you guys are crazy, bro. This shit was awesome. Y'all are crazy, bro. Y'all be crazy. That was, uh, that was super fun. Blaze Pizza is great. <laughs> Yo, love it, love it, love it. Um, I would say even like a computer animated version of this could be really fun. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'd be into it. I love the, also the idea of it coming to Disney+. Plus. And you know what? Honestly, like, here's the thing about Visions, right? Here's the thing about Star Wars Visions. Do I think Star Wars Visions fixed Star Wars? You know? And some of you are like, what the fuck do you mean fixed Star Wars? Star Wars is fine. Cool. Cool story. We'll address that on a totally different stream. I'm not feeling like getting into that today. So, uh, you know, did it fix the Star Wars fandom? No. But it was a nice treat for Star Wars fans. And there's honestly nothing but good can come from giving nice treats to the Star Wars fan base, especially when it's really creative creator driven, right? Because the thing is, man, you look at Star Wars Visions and you say, I don't think Disney did this just to make money. Are there merchandising opportunities? Absolutely. Does it help sort of bolster Disney Plus numbers? Absolutely. Could you say there, you know, maybe some merge opportunities in this novel, et cetera, et cetera? Absolutely. But the money they spent and, and the idea to do this, I just think it's more of, it is honestly just more in the vein of giving fans some cool stuff. Some cool stuff. Making cool Star Wars content. You know what I mean? Like, business is business. You've got to obviously, oh, God. Ugh. You've got to obviously, it's that pineapple pizza, man. You've got to obviously make money. You got to make product, et cetera, et cetera. A business is a business. But, you know, this move to me feels a little bit more like let's do some fun artistic stuff with the Star Wars brand, which I think is also really important. It's an important part of the formula. So I think Visions was successful on that front. Um, and I think doing something like this would be a success on that front as well. Star Wars is going nuts. Like, they're about to go crazy. They're about to have a ton of different shows uh, coming out in the next couple of years. We're going to be getting a lot of Star Wars content. And uh, that's really exciting, right? It's super cool. But I still think there's something to be said for getting the real creative juices going and just really, really having some fun with it. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. I, I, I think that would be great the drop yes 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 we shall we shall figure this drop out how much time do we have six minutes how much time should i should i do something really bold should i do a risky thing should i risk it for the biscuit real quick okay we got about five minutes um i tell you what I got something I wanted to uh, say. I got something I want to show you guys, but it's not here. It's not in the research wing. So I know we only have a little bit of time. We're going to cut it close here. Uh, meet me down in the vault. Meet me in the NerdCoin vault. I want to show you guys something. Oh, holy crap, it's musty down here. We need to, I'm going to need to get Susan down here to clean this thing, man. Because this is, you, you want it to look nice. You know what I mean? It's supposed to shine. The nerd coin's supposed to shine, you know, shine bright like a diamond. Anyway, uh, while we're down here, there's a couple of things I wanted to announce, and I had this down here. I just want to show it off again. Another $200. GameStop gift card that were given to a lucky member. I gave uh, Sheev his yesterday. I texted Ryan and I said, Ryan, please tell me Sheev is lying. There's no way he won another $200 gift card. But he did. So Sheev's got that. I think he's buying a second infinity pool uh, or another big fat monitor or something like that. I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, but I also wanted to say 
to all of you that, you know, want to get something from the NerdCoin store, that I actually did something a little bit different today, and that these two pops right here, uh, this one is the Clone Trooper boss that glows in the dark, GameStop exclusive, and then this is the Knight Brother, which is also a GameStop exclusive. Both of these Funko Pops are currently already available in the NerdCoin store. So if you go to denofnerdslive.com, they're already on the store. I think they're 25,000 nerd coin a piece. If you've got some juicy nerd coin, you can purchase them free shipping within the United States. Canada's like $40 to ship to, it's ridiculous. It's literally, I can see it sometimes when I drive around where I live and it's $40 to ship it, I can't believe it. But anyway, yeah, we had these things down here. Check it out, go to denofnerdslive.com, get that juicy nerd coin. And for some of you guys, you could go pick up those pops right now kind of fun all right if i miss the vv drop i'm still gonna blame you i'm still mad at you if i did Whew. oh man okay okay we still got a couple of minutes i think we're good we're gucci uh and uh yeah i just wanted to put stuff up on the store before we even went uh live today because some of the drops like i love doing the drops but honestly a lot of you guys are not able to take advantage of that stuff because you're not like i don't know like you're just you, like i got a lot of people telling me that we couldn't do it so yeah yeah is that a lasat in the thumbnail yeah it is so i'll show you i'll show you this in a second here Okay, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Yeah, let me see if I can show you this again here. Here, I'll pull this up for whoever said that in the chat chat. Whomever said it in the chat chat. Who chat chat chatted it? Oh, you're going to miss call-ins tomorrow? Is that because of spoilers? Is that because of spoilers? What's this video about? Well, we talked about the Ralph McQuarrie Star Wars trilogy. That they're gonna do you have to go back and watch that but we're about to get into some other news talk about some venom stuff and then we'll finish off with some q and a so this is the this is our morning stream here sans el boom do el boom it do el boom it bro i want this one bad bro this uh <clears throat> first appearance of carnage Dropping in a minute. Dropping in a minute. Elisa's trying to Elisa's gonna try to get one as well. Oh man, I'd love to be able to get one of these to put up on the nerd coin store for you guys. Woo! 40 seconds. You got one of these in IRL? No, it does show up. Scott, go to digital collectibles, hit the little thing on the top, and drop down to digital comics. Yeah 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 Uh spoilers for what? Venom's already been spoiled. I mean, yeah. Look, some people still don't want to, you know, get the spoiler talk or whatever. I totally understand it, but it kind of has been spoiled all over the internet. I'm just excited for the ride, baby. I just want to see Venom and Carnage beating each other up and shit. All right, 4 3 2 1 and available Okay, come on, come on, come on. Boom, buy now, okay, okay. Dope, 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 dope. That was pretty quick. That was pretty quick, I'm excited about that. That was fast. Come on, process it already. I wanna try to get another one, you mother loving lover mothers. Oh my God, hurry up. Holy shit. Come on. No. Oh, bro, there ain't no way I'm getting a second one. Bruh, bruh. Did you guys get it? Did you guys get it? Holy shit. It's still processing the uh, payment, dude. Phew. Sold out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got an order. Got an order. Uh, but only got one. Got one? Nice. My man. Dude, I double screened it and still couldn't get two. Yeah, it's starting to get really wild with these drops. 
starting to get really wild with these drops for sure. You you want an original of the actual book? That is sick, sick, bro, sick. You know what's funny? With some of the um, with some of this stuff, people are looking at the prices of the actual comics and how much like top uh sort of um. What am I trying to think? Graded. They're looking at what top graded versions are selling for. And then they're making sort of assumptions about the market for the NFTs based on the actual comic book stuff. So it's pretty interesting. Double screened and still couldn't get one. Yo. Yeah. I mean, you never know, man. I've gotten uh, they they mint Renee. They mint the uh, the the rares all over the place because I've gotten different rarities in the higher mint numbers as well. Did Ryan get two? What he say? Whoa, Ryan got the second one. Yo, y'all better be real fucking nice to Ryan. That's all I'm saying because Ryan's been getting dupes of these things. Uh, and he's been offering them up for the Nerdcoin vault. And, like, we're getting him some moolah for it. But, bruh, we all know where these comic books are heading. We all know. We all know what, what's happening to these NFTs. So, y'all should be very grateful. Because, I, I mean, when he said it, I was like, bro, all right. But, I mean, obviously, you got to hold your hold the um, the really rare ones. You know what I mean? You got to hold the really rare ones. What? Get out of here, MK Matt. You did not get 10. If you got 10, then send me a, a DM. I back in and out of the app and hold for the last 30 seconds. Huh? Interesting strat. Interesting strat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't understand NFTs? Yeah, well, that's a whole nother ball game. That is a whole nother thing. Nice. You got one, Trev? My man. My man. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So, yeah. What we were talking about earlier was a report about the Ralph McQuarrie uh, Star Wars dealies, dallies. Again, I'm pretty... Uh, I think it's fun. I almost said I'm pretty bullish on it. God, I need to stop watching market videos and shit. Um, okay. So, let's chill in here for just a second. By the way, did anybody pick up one of those pop figures? I, I'm just curious. I'm just curious about it let's see what's going on another star wars dealy dally that we can talk about um i don't really think it's like that big of a deal i don't think it's that revealing but technically speaking and by the way ash cross and killing it on getting fun uh clips out of interviews and shit like that you know gotta give credit where credit is due she's been getting some fun star wars tidbits from these actors so let's watch so this. posted this photo in March with the caption. This is Mina Masound, hey, who is you know, when I escape, what we I think, or who you. we think rather, will be playing spiral uh, <laughs> Ezra Bridger. And I've heard this from many different people that he will be Ezra. Can we talk about that? What, what, what's going on, man? Uh, yeah, just man. Yeah, just manifesting. You know, uh, just manifesting, trying different things. I'm about to manifest uh, getting a dopely rare yeah, I, <laughs> NFT. There's not much more I can say about that, but. Um, you know, I had heard murmurings that, you know, this role was coming up and this is becoming a real thing. So I just kind of wanted to throw my, my name in the ring and, um, and yeah, just part of manifesting what you want. You know, I think we live in an age now that's so different than, you know, the 70s, 80s, 90s Hollywood where, um, you know, there was no social media. It was really just your representatives putting things out there for you this but beats kind of funky bro you know we have the ability to put things out screen rants got me jamming a little because of social media and, and because we can you know put things out there so um yeah i just wanted to put it out there i guess i for one i think you'd be a great ezra bridger um thank you very much i appreciate well, that yeah let me ask you this what would it mean to you to be a part of the star wars universe uh, I mean, it would it, it would be a dream come true. Um, obviously, you know, I've already had one of my dreams come true with Aladdin, but I also think I could just really, you know, do it justice. Uh, you know, I've I've worked on that kind of big, massive, you know, sci-fi, um, 
set before on Aladdin, you know, I think I have that under my belt now. And uh, obviously, you know, thankfully the film did really well. So I think I've proven that I can be successful in that environment. So yeah, I think it would just be a great opportunity to take everything that I learned on a set like Aladdin and, and implement it into, you know, the it's Star actually a Wars really smart DC way to answer Marvel universe, you know, we're talking about manifesting. So um, yeah, it, it would mean a lot. But I think um, I, I think I would also uh, do a solid job and, and work really hard. Okay, fun. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so this guy's definitely uh, Ezra. You know what I mean? Unless, like, massive things have changed. Uh, but I will say that this whole Ezra thing was a really, really big deal, uh, from what I understand, for Lucasfilm. And so there was a lot of... Like, it's a big, big role. You know what I mean? L many different appearances. I think a long-standing sort of thing. Uh, so pretty big freaking deal there uh let's see is there anything going on in star wars leaks subreddit anything that we've missed oh there's a shot a first peek at the bad batch season two uh can't believe tech and echo are back it's pronounced tick and echo hmm, interesting um yeah can we see them i guess you can see but that's pretty obvious that they would be back yeah i think he's just trolling still pretty fun Bad Batch Season 2. I wasn't the biggest fan of Bad Batch Number 1, but I'm uh, still excited to see where it goes from here. Did a video about this yesterday. Do you guys remember on stream where I was like, dude, it's his new armor and shit? Man, I went through a roller coaster of emotion with this because it looks new to me. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like got a new look. It's a new vibe or whatever. Um, and then, like, as I compared it, I was like, oh, it's not really that new. Then people pointed out that he's got red boots. And if you lighten this thing up, he's got like these red boots, maybe even armored boots or something that they're definitely different. So it, it is different. God, went through the ring around on that one. Regardless, super fun. Excited for the Book of Poba. This is sort of a thing that we just talked about. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it on the Star Wars front. Andor apparently, you know, finished shooting and Diego Luna says to expect familiar faces. That's That's always fun excited about that let's check out what's going on in marvel spoilers world and i do want to look at some of the venom uh reviews okay cool so they got a little thread here that does talk about some of the reviews whoa we shouldn't i don't know if we should show that <laughs> the internet is a treacherous place sorry kevin feige if you're watching my bad let's check this out Ooh, 69 so it's dropping a little bit here Wait, it says 75 now? Whoa, okay. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so it actually went up. Wow. Dude, that's a very decent fucking score uh, for that film. I think the first one was, like, pretty bad, if I remember correctly. Uh, here, let's just see what Venom was. Venom, 2018. I, th I bet it's, like, in the 40s. Oh, shit. I feel like Venom. Oh, shit. 30%. Yeah, it's, it's pretty rough, right? But look at the disparity here. Audiences had a lot of fun with Venom 1, bruh. But that is, that's pretty rough. 30%. I mean, can you imagine more than doubling your tomato meter score? Let's see what some of these people are saying. Uh, a not-so-marvelous sequel. Oh, your rotten, your fucking byline is rotten. I wish I could give your review a bad review. Uh, ugly, cheap, and dumb, but not good dumb. The film is throwaway kind of trashy nothingness. Damn, Barry. God damn, Barry. Does Barry like anything? Anyway, um, a sequel whose title is both a promise and the premise in its entirety. The sequel inhabits... The same uh, comfortably dumb space as its predecessor. If you like the first one, you'll like this one. That's a, that's kind of that's something I'm hearing a lot of. You know what I mean? Oh shit, Sean Chandler. Let's see what he says. Let there be carnage is a better version of what they were trying to do with the original. There's more of what was fun about Venom. I'm into that, but it also adds more a more compelling villain, tonal consistency, and efficient storytelling. I'm here for that shit, bro. That sounds dope. 
Scott Mendel douche, who actually I've been liking his takes a little bit more these days. What kind of a world is this? Anyway, it's almost too short with too little interaction between Venom and the supporting cast, but it delivers plenty of campy violence and metaphorical hearty and hearty rom-com hijinks. Well, that sounds fun. That sounds really fun. Let's see if there's anybody else we recognize on this list here. That is kind of the vibe I'm getting is that it's like, look, if you like the first one, you're going to really like the second one. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty freaking pumped, man. I can't believe I get to see it so early, too. It's kind of fun. 4 p.m. It's going to be fun. Let's see here. IGN gave it a 7 out of 10. That's pretty good. Slash Film gave it a 7 out of 10. Screen Crush, who cares? Variety, not sure. Comicbook.com, uh, 3 out of 5. Okay. Digital Spy, 4 out of 5. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the Guardian, who cares? The Playlist, who cares? Screen Rant, who cares? So... If you ignore all of the the negative Nancys, no, I'm just kidding. I know I know there's people that probably justifiably so will not love the movie. Um, but yeah, I'm into it. Fun and madness. How Tom Hardy shaped it. So this is pretty interesting, actually. I heard a little bit about this. He went in and helped pitch for the actual sequel. Uh, he's just really, really involved. You know what I mean? He's really, really involved. Uh, in the project, much in the same way that like Tom Hiddleston is really involved with the Loki project, so it's super fun. And then we have here Marvel's at or no, 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 this is what I want to tell you guys. Uh, this is pretty funny, man. And apparently, I, I sort of followed some of this on Twitter, like beyond this post, bruh. So people got pissed, bro. Like in Toby's camp, they got pretty pissed about it. Apparently, um, this guy that knows Toby pretty well. Uh, he just literally said, yeah, he's in it. And he's not lying about it. He's like, I know Toby. Uh, and yeah, he's in the film. And apparently, a bunch of people within Toby's camp like blocked him. Like Toby's fiance, I think, blocked him and all that. Um, and then there was some shots of Tom Holland clubbing with fucking Toby and Diplo over the weekend. So make of that what you will, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless, let's shift in to Q and A. I want to know what's on your mind. I will answer every super chat that comes in. If you got the loot, you want to support the boots. I don't know what that means. If you Look, if you want to uh, super chat the channel, it, it definitely supports and helps us out. I do want to say that today's stream, all of our streams, are brought to you by the Nerd Vengers, the lovely people you see with the badges in the chat. They keep the lights on over here. They help us be able to keep doing this, make improvements to the content, try to get new equipment, and buy way too many fucking toys uh, to give back to you guys as well. I, by the way, I love doing that shit. Like, I walk into um, GameStop, man, and I'm excited. We spend about, we spend like 500 a month on, uh, like, stuff to try to give away and give back to the community. You know what I mean? Between the gift card and the, all the pops and everything that we buy, um, we try to get a couple big items as well. But I love it. You know what I mean? It's like going in there. It's like Christmas, like, every month. I get to buy these fun gifts and instead of like your regular ass family like there's something there's a little controversial statement for you you're right by the way i'm saying all this nice stuff and we got fucking 200 likes we need like 300 400 likes <clears throat> anyway uh unlike your real ass family who's not into all the fun nerdy stuff so you have to like think of like what what do they like you know what i mean like what's that last book i saw my aunt have in her bathroom when i was there you know like what is she into what should I what should I get her or you know thinking of like lame ass gifts basically when I go in to buy stuff for the nerd vengers or for the nerd coin store I'm like yo that's dope that's hype that looks sick and then I get to get it and then you know we'll, we'll save some some of the dope stuff for me but then we put it up on the nerd coin store as well uh so it's just good times it's good times over here all right, let me pull up the super chats. We'll start there. We'll read through some supers, and then we will spake on whatever you guys want to speak on, whatever's going on in the chat chat. I'll be hanging out just in the chat chat as well. Mm. Wait, why does it... So it only said Red 7 when you joined? 
Um, but Jaren Breister, welcome to the uh, Nerd Avengers. I don't know why it didn't tell me your full ass uh, name before, but regardless, we got it. We got it figured out. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Armani Martinez says with a five dollar holla, Josh, I need to know. I need to know if Boba or if Book of Boba Fett is a hit. Does this mean Robert Rodriguez can push for a a, till, a, a Lita Battle Angel sequel show on Disney Plus? Big. You know that's kind of interesting. I don't know, man. Especially now, like, didn't isn't James Cameron involved with that project as well? And now inadvertently he's working with disney with avatar right because that was all fox stuff fascinating fascinating maybe i mean i like that movie i'd like to see more of it i wasn't like a big manga you know fan of alita so i'm not like hardcore i won't pretend to be but um yeah i'd love to see more of that i'd actually love to see more of robert do just in general star wars content man the dude's the dude's straight fire and, and it, even if he did some mcu stuff i just think he would bring a really fun sensibility to it i mean let's just be real bruh as a big boba fett fan and by the way did you guys catch boba josh yeah there's another freaking variant running around nerd ventures tower boba josh anyway as a big Boba Fett fan, we never got, like, uplifted like we did watching that Boba Fett episode of Mandalorian Season 2. And to think that my man shot that and pitched it with action figures and his kids in the backyard. And then, like, months and months down the line, we're able to watch that dope-ass Boba Fett episode. And as a Boba Fett fan, just be like, oh my god, you know? Uh, incredible. So, we owe that guy a lot. You know what I mean? Put his name in the history books. Finto182 with a $5 house says, Full Venom 2 post credit scene is online. I'm not seeing the movie till the 15th in Ireland, so I had to know. Can't wait for your thoughts on it. Yeah, I watched it. I'm not going to lie. I mean, look, you guys know me. I'm all about the spoilers. I can't fucking help myself. I want to know everything. You know what I mean? So, I, I watched it. Uh, I listened to it when the audio leaked. I've read every report about it for the past couple of weeks that popped up on Reddit. I watched Danny's video about it. Uh, Geekdom did a video about it. So, yeah, man. Uh, pretty wild. And we'll talk about it tomorrow for sure. I mean, I'll talk. No spoilers in my reaction vid tonight. I'll do this like a raw reaction. Uh, no spoilers tonight. Yeah, and then tomorrow I'll do some spoiler stuff. I think, too, I'll probably do a video, maybe for over the weekend, that will be just a multiverse video because this week really did change a lot. Between that episode of What If and I think what's going to happen in Venom, uh, pretty wild stuff happening in the Marvel multiverse. So I hear you, Finto. Trev says, why not animate the comic stories, uh, the DB method? I mean, you could. You could, especially maybe the old, um, like, Dark Horse stuff. Is that what you're talking about? Like, doing uh, the old Dark Horse stuff. That could be fun. I'd be into that. Yeah, I'd be into that. Um, I think one of the things just is with the Macquarie stuff or the anime stuff is that they want a, a distinct creative voice, right? And the Dark stu the dark, the dark Horse comics did have a creative voice, but it's it's really American comic booky, like, the whole thing. You know what I mean? Uh Jaren Breester says with a five dollar holla, yo Josh, longtime viewer, just now able to join. Keep up the good work and take my money. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate the love. Uh, and yeah, we're holding it down here, my man. Holding it down at Nerd Vengers Tower. I'm having fun. You know, this is traditionally a slower part uh, of the year, and holy shit, is December gonna be popping? You know what I mean? Um, but we're here holding it down i'm hyped up about a lot of the different stuff that's going on so yeah man having a good time it's a it's a it's an incredible job to be able to just stream and make youtube videos uh you know and and survive off of that you know what i mean so i really appreciate it and i feel a responsibility to you guys to continue to bring the good content the good energy and uh keep keep having fun on these streams man you know what i mean because i watch a lot i don't really watch myself like you guys watch me 
but like I watch a lot of streamers and I, I get a lot of fu- uh, like value out of watching other people's content like you know Dr. Disrespect man like dude if I'm having a if I'm having a, like a wishy-washy day I'm not feeling it I throw some doc on while I'm working or like at the gym or whatever man good vibes bro good vibes you know what I mean and I'd love to provide something similar to that just good vibes for you guys Nick Lemon with a very generous $10 holla says been super busy this week missing the live streams hopefully I'll make it for the Nerdvenger stream Nerdvengers for life yeah man try to make it we'll go at 1 p.m. and I'll post it earlier today as well I'll post the the link earlier so everybody can find it but at 1 p.m. we're reading some comics I have a lot of fun reading comics with you guys I'll do the voices you know what I mean and like yeah, it's, it's, it's fun stuff. So appreciate you, bro. And dude, a lot of people are hella busy right now. Like a lot of people have been reaching out saying like, hey, man, sorry, I haven't been on streams and stuff like that. It's all Gucci. I totally understand. Aiden H says with a $5 hella, got a rare today. My second rare on my second drop ever. You love to see it. Damn. This guy's got a horseshoe wrapped around him. Or maybe a rabbit's foot. Holy hell, Aiden. That's good shit good shit good for you man let me check mine real quick let me check mine real quick see if my shit got delivered yet nah still pending order i tell you what all of these look dope the uncommon looks dope the rare looks dope the ultra rare and secret rare though i mean come on man Whew. Bruh. There's 600 of these. How many do they do total of this run? 30,000? That's a low. That's a low mint number. Damn, dude. That's cool. It's good stuff. Good on you, Aiden. Good on you, man. Let's see here. The Amethyst Bendu says with a very generous $10 holla says people out here tripping. Pepperoni, bacon, pineapple, jalapenos, white sauce, pizza, chef's kiss. That's actually, that sounds awesome, bro. Uh, just finished Catalyst. Love all the Star Wars uh, books. So good. Uh, recommend uh, wanting this reimagined for sure as well. Yeah, no, this reimagining I think would be really, really fun. And Catalyst is a great book. James Lucino, dude, one of the best to ever do it. Incredible writer. Uh, did the Plagueis novel. It's done a lot of great stuff. And I thought Catalyst was criminally underrated. Criminally underrated, man. People just... People didn't know. People didn't know. All right, let me go through some of these members' things here, man. Fun stuff. Uh, Dan Larkin, member for nine months, says, Been absent for a hot minute. Anywho... Remember that comic based on the original Lucas screenplay? Would be dope if they made that. What say you? Yeah, man. I think that would be awesome. And I agree. That would be a super fun way to do some of this stuff. You know, doing some of the, like Georgia stuff, I think would be great. But it also puts them in a precarious situation as a company because it sort of indicates like what could have been and all that, right? So they have a fine line to walk there. But going back to the OT and, and playing off of Georgia's original ideas in that second draft for those movies i think that is a brilliant idea there's it's you're good you know what i mean like it's yeah it's good stuff brian bufka said for a 15 months nerdventure prime says so you just don't want viewers tomorrow we can't all go see the movie tonight um what are you saying brian what are you trying to say that I shouldn't do my spoiler talk tomorrow morning, that I should do a different stream and not talk about it on the stream tomorrow? Is that what you're saying to me? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're trying? Is that what, is that what you're saying? Well, here, we got most of the people that'll show up tomorrow here in the chat right now. Let's do a poll. Is that what you're saying to me right now? Is that what you're, is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're trying to say? Is that what you're trying to say? Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. Let's poll it up. Survey says, should we stream Venom to spoilers tomorrow morning? 
next. We could do it later. You know what I mean? Like, or I could just do it in a video. I could just do the spoilers in a vid. Yeah, let's see. See what y'all say. See what y'all say. I mean, yeah, because Fridays are... Let's see. Let's see. Let's just see what everybody says. We'll, 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 we'll let it ride, you know what I mean? I mean, obviously, I want people like Brian that don't want spoilers to be able to come and have a good time on the stream. You know what I mean? I live in the UK, so it doesn't come out till the 15th. Ooh. Half the people voting yes aren't going to watch it. That's probably fair. <laughs> That's probably fair. You know my vote. No, I don't know your vote. Stevie, what you mean? What you trying to say? Spoil everything. Look at what you started, Brian. So, what if tomorrow... <laughs> Wait, there were show leaks for Halo? Uh, see, there. I was waiting. I was actually going to make a comment about about that at, uh, with Ryan. Because uh, I was like, man, you know what's been interesting to me is like Ryan's really anti-Venom. But I've noticed him sort of pulling back just a little bit on that, probably for my sake. He's probably just like, you know, Josh has had a rough couple of months. And uh, he seems really hyped up on this Venom. So maybe I, sh I won't just shit all over Venom and Sony in the chat. You know what I mean? And, and Ryan, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Because I have been a little excited. Can I get invited to the Discord? If you put uh, exclamation Discord, it should, uh, it should give you a, a thingy. <laughs> Yeah, see? There you go. Join away. Join away. By the way, we have to change the Discord intro thing. Because it says it still has, like, go do all this, and then it's, like, not there. Because <laughs> somebody deleted everything on Discord like a freaking idiot. Chat. I don't go see it tomorrow until 1.45 p.m. Hmm. Oh, sorry, Mike. Mr. Super Chat. Let me see what you said, Mike. What did Mike say? Still on vacay. Uh, still on vacay. We'll be driving home in tomorrow's stream. So can't call in and won't see Venom 2 till Saturday. But you know I'm going to love it. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, man, that's true. Shout out to Mike, licensed to show Porter. Super fun. Good stuff, bro. Hope you enjoy it when you do see it. Stream in the morning. Seeing Venom in 5.5 hours. <laughs> Some guy went into Discord. Like, where are all the sections? Take a deep look in the mirror and say Josh Lucas three times. Yeah, and then I appear behind you and slap you. Something like that. I don't hate Venom, and that end scene, that's true, that end scene will probably be pretty dope, huh? Supreme Josh did it. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Vomit will be sitting right next to the Snyder Cut, but at least I sat through the Snyder Cut. Venom isn't even watchable. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, this, yeah, this poll is a little bit closer, though. Sorry, not feeling bad for someone on vacate. Yeah, that's true. I missed your super chat? My bad, brother. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, I did see it. Okay, I see what it says here. Imagine Hawkeye with Yondu's fin and arrow. Yeah, that would be disgusting. Uh, that was a really, like, Hawkeye and Black Widow, at the beginning of that last, uh, episode of What If, damn, dude, that was cool. That was hella cool. I was like, this is the coolest Hawkeye's been in a minute here. But uh, I'm still excited for the mother-loving, love-a-mother uh, thing. The Hawkeye show. Uh, Nikki, Nikki, that's nice. They're convincing you to go see it. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Hawkeye's really underrated. Yeah, I love Hawkeye. A lot of good buzz around that show. It's, uh, it's, there's a lot of, uh, sort of hype, more hype than I would have thought for Hawkeye, um, out there. It's kind of fun. I'm excited. Yeah, 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 uh, I'd say there's there's a measure of that. There's even even a part of me is like just a little upset with what they're doing to Thanos. But I think the the clear thing is like this is not uh, comic book Thanos. You know what I mean? Hype about Hawkeye? Who? I was wrong. Spoil away. Nah, I mean, huh? Uh, RF Gaming Channel. That's not nice thing to say. You know. You guys know I struggle with self-confidence and all these other variants are taking over the tower and you're really upsetting me. <sighs> Ooh, am I playing Halo Infinite this weekend? I actually do want to try to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to try to. I know I can probably get into it, so I'm going to try to sort that out. Uh, but I actually want to play more New World. I'm really, really into New World. I tried to get on yesterday. And this was so freaking annoying, dude. It was like, it had me, like, in queue. And then it would go from, like, 300 down into, like, almost 100-something. And then, boom. I get kicked out of queue. Like, what? You know what I mean? Like, what the, what the, what the what? Yeah, so that was really frustrating. But I'm hoping... To be able to go um or to be able to play some this weekend so look i'd love to play some halo and i think i will but uh i'll probably just play a little bit of it and, and jump back into new world new world's fun man new world's really fun aaron very generous ten dollar holla says i'm sure or not sure if you're familiar with scarface uh, Zarface, but they have two tracks on Venom 2 soundtrack in their own dope line of comics. Whoa, Esoteric's an indie rap legend and a huge Marvel Star Wars fan. Get him on the show. Hey, that sounds cool. I'll send me something on the Discord about that, man. Send me something on the Discord about that. Uh, I'm gonna see here. Esoteric rapper. Who are the members of Zarface? That's interesting. Cool. Dude, that's sick. And they do their own comics, too? And they're... Oh, that's really fun. That's cool, man. They rap out of Boston? Nice. Dude, that's cool. Maybe I will. Thanks for that, Aaron. I'd love to get in touch with him. I'm writing my comic right now, man. I'm trying to do a uh, Kickstarter by the end of the year. I'm really, really excited, actually, about some of the stuff we are working on. Wait, it's Nikki Nikki's birthday? Aw, snap. Let's get some love in the chat. Get some love in the chat for Nikki. But she could be trolling. Watch that one. She's dangerous. We don't know. We don't know. You know what I mean? Who knows? Only the Oracle. All right, guys. I'm going to get on out of here. If you are a Nerd Avenger member. Look at chat and look at Josh. What are you talking about? You checked? Okay, cool. Um, I'm so blind. What are you talking about? I'm so blind to what? Huh? What happened to the Secret Invasion video I talked about yesterday? Yeah, I decided not to do it. I might do it still, but the Boba Fett news I felt like was a little bit more hyped. It was like trending, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. I could still do a vid on that. Kind of might save the info until there's another update and add it into the video about that. Oh, yeah, Bo, you absolutely have to write a script 
uh, for your artist. In fact, a comic book script really and truly is a conversation for the creative team. Like what it really is, is a conversation between the storyteller and the artist if they're different people and then maybe a little bit of the editor, et cetera, et cetera. But a script is not designed to be read and enjoyed as a product. You know what I mean? It is a tool to get you to a product. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Boba Fett is the best, says Moss Moss. Can't wait for Book of Boba. I didn't know that, Moss Moss. I didn't know you were a big Boba Fett fan. Uh, VV question. Do I need to have gems prior to purchase? Yes. 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 You're going to need some gems before you do it. Yes. Yes. Exile Luke is canon, Moss. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Chase Floyd, $5 holla, says, Hey, Josh, been a while. Have you reviewed What If Episode 8? If so, where can I find it? Yeah, so I did that on a stream yesterday. And I know I'm going to try to start posting more stuff, like, because we didn't do a video about it. And I'm sure people were like, where's the video? So we did just the stream yesterday, and I gave a lot of my thoughts on that. So I'm going to try to get into a better habit of being like, hey, regular Den of Nerds channel post on the community tab over there like here's the vid of what if we I just put it all my thoughts in this live stream so yesterday's live stream I haven't even got to the faction picking yet Darth uh, Bayou I think I'm level eight still yeah but I tell you this I'm I'm hella good at fishing bruh I've been fishing in that game and uh I'm a I'm a true fishing G you know what I mean? Nikki, Nikki's 23? Young buck. She's a young one. Ha ha ha, Moss Moss, what the hell? That's hilarious. Uh, what are we talking about? I have no idea, William. It's the very end of the stream, and I'm losing my mind here. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Much love. Yes, I've seen Squid Game. It's dope. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Guys, if you're a Nerdvenger member, we're going at 1 p.m. today. We're going at 1 p.m. We're going to be reading comics. It's going to be a fun time. Stop by for that, okay? So, as I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.
Did did everybody go? Is everybody gone? You know, guys, I don't really have much to say other than thank you. Always a pleasure hanging out with y'all. Much love. Much love. And also s send me the, the good NFTs of, of the Carnage. If you got the really good Carnage stuff, just send it to me. Um, I can You can hit me up on Discord, Twitter, whatever. Um, yeah, just do it. Uh, just, just to make my Venom day the, the happiest day. Do, uh, do that. Do it. Uh, do it now. Do it. Do it now. Okay. Do it. All right. <clears throat> See you.